Yeah, I mean, again, it's a good group of guys. They they like each other. They buy into each other of what we want to do. Um, we kind of set that tone last year, you know, playing some of these guys younger and um, knew that we weren't going to have, you know, that senior leadership here this year. And so um, they've really gelled together and figured out, okay, how, how can we win games, especially in a great SAC conference like we have. You look at Snyder and they're the highest scoring team in the SAC, one of the highest scoring teams in the state. And you look at yourself and you guys are one of the, the top defenses in the SAC. So uh, given that two sort of different styles of play, how does that work its way out on a Friday night? It's, it's going to be the challenge Friday. We, we got to hold them down a little bit. Um, you know, they obviously have a lot of firepower and, you know, we got to be able to execute our game plan and um, you know, really just try to make it difficult for them. You know, you're not going to shut Jenkins and Lambert down. You know, they're just too good that way. Um, but if we can make things hard for them um, and get a, get that defensive mindset that we have, that would be big for us. Yeah, piggybacking on that, what are some of the things you're focusing and really impressing on these guys uh, this week in practice to play the kind of, type of game that you want to have on Friday night? Yeah, I mean, we we got to be physical. we got to be able to rebound and, and match their strength. You know, they're so strong. They're so athletic. Um, so we got to be able to do that. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job against Southside doing that last week. Um, so we got to carry that over this week. Um, you know, they're just so quick and they can shoot the ball and, you know, they, they make it hard on defenses and they've shown that so far this year. So we got to be, we got to be good on our end. As we talked about earlier in the season, no seniors on this team. Um, this is kind of uh, one of the first big spotlight games for you guys. So how do you think these guys kind of handle that? Um, that spotlight and that pressure and that extra added hype surrounding the game where this could go a long way in determining the conference championship, which I imagine is one of, the, one of the ultimate goals for you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's been a goal for us, you know, that we've talked about all year is, you know, we got to get to this point and um, it's, you know, I'm just proud of these guys to be in this situation. We've talked about, okay, you just got to take care of business and one game at a time and, you know, to be put in a position where you're 4-0 in conference, um, you know, is good for us. And so we'll... We'll see how they respond Friday. And um, again, we don't have that experience of some of the big, big time spotlight things, but you know, this could go a long way for us come February, March when, when tournament rolls around. Yeah, final question for me. What are you guys most looking forward to about this game, knowing that it's going to be you know, a classic SAC Friday night matchup with a lot of eyeballs on it? Yeah. Um, you know, just the excitement of playing Friday night Indiana basketball. I mean, there's there's nothing like it. You know, to go to Snyder, which is a great place to go play, and Coach Roush does a great job with those guys, and they're always good. And so um, to be able to go out and compete against those guys, it's, it's just going to be a great time. And, you know, hopefully we can can play well and, and be in the game as, as it rolls on towards the end. Good deal. Anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. Appreciate it. Um, our team's been playing really well. Our defense has been uh, incredible. So uh, our help side and just uh, our team having each other's backs. When you look at Snyder, they're one of the highest scoring teams in the state. I mean, I think a third in the state, about 75 points a game. You guys are one of the top scoring defenses in the SAC. So kind of high scoring team, big defensive team. How does that play out? How do you get them to play at your tempo on Friday night, play the type of game that you want to play? Um, we, we definitely want like to keep Carson Jenkins and Aiden Lambert under 20 and just play good defense all around. What's Coach been stressing this week, and what are some of the things that you guys have been working on as a team? Um, and we're going to uh, be hard in the, in the gaps and not let uh, Carson Jenkins uh, to, to, through the lane or anything like that uh, close out on a shot. So. You know, go about... Uh, staying kind of cool under the pressure knowing that it's a big game. Yeah, we don't have any seniors, so we're going to have everyone has to play their role and step up in their own way. And I think we can beat them. What are you most looking forward to about this game? Um, the big crowd. I know there's going to be a big crowd there. And to show uh, a lot of people that show them wrong and prove that we can beat anyone. When it comes to, you know, SEC championship type games, this is kind of your, one of the first big games for you guys to kind of show how you can play well against a team that could be in the conference title hunt. So how much are you looking forward to the opportunity of like showing people what Concordia is about this season? Yeah, I think we can uh, show anyone that if we all play together, play our role, we can be any team, no matter what. I love it. Anything else you'd like to add?
Appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Is it what you've done so far this season that you're looking to carry over this fight that's given you that kind of success? Uh, stick to the basis, basics. Uh, zone everything else out. Let's play our basketball. When you look at this uh, Snyder team, what are some of the things that concern you? What are some of the things you're going to have to do well to counter what they do well? Uh, not really concerned with anything. I feel like we can play good defense on them. The only, the only problem I would say is we have to score with them. Uh, they have a lot of offensive threats with Aiden and Carson. He's got to score with them. Yeah, kind of going with that, you know, they have one of the top scoring offenses in, uh, in the state, and you guys have one of the better defenses in the SAC. So how do you get them to play at your pace and kind of play the game at the tempo that you want to play? Uh, just try to control the game. Uh, take it possession by possession. Uh, we have to limit their possessions, so keep the ball in our hands as much as possible. You look at the guys that play big roles for them, it's a lot of seniors. Mm -hmm. um, and then you guys uh, don't have any seniors on your roster. So uh, as underclassmen, how do you handle kind of being in the spotlight and leading this team? Uh, I don't know. Well, how do you uh, make sure that you guys uh, are ready for the spotlight? you guys like, feel like there's a calmness for this team when yeah. you're playing in a big game? Yeah, we all hold each other accountable. Uh, definition of a team for sure. What are you most looking forward to about this game? You're going a long way in determining who wins an SEC title. Yeah, uh, I still feel like a lot of people are counting us out. Uh, we just want to come in and fight. Anything else you'd like to add? Nah. I love it, man. All right, good luck on Friday. Thank you.